I'm Andrew Gribble here with Browns cornerback Terrence Mitchell. And, and Terrence, what is it like getting back on this practice field, finally getting a win under you guys' belt? Uh, you know, it feels good, you know, just to have finally getting that win. Like you said, it's a lot of smiling faces, but, you know, a lot of work to be done still. What's going through your head on that final play last week? You're, you're, you're defending your receiver. The ball comes your way. What, what's going through your mind to, to kind of seal that victory? Up in the pocket, shooting it long and deep, and it's picked up. They got it. Terrence Mitchell's got it, and it's all over here now. They can't take it away anymore. 11 seconds left to go. Just playing the coverage, you know, being trying to be aware of the situation in the game and just trying to see the see the ball and just when I seen it, I just wanted to make the play, try to uh, help the team as much as I can. Now you're a new face on this team, but th the first thing you did was take that ball all the way across the field and, and take it over to the dog pound. What was kind of your, your thinking behind that and what did you think of the reaction? Well, um, you know, prior to coming here, I had met Hanford Dixon and guys like that. You know, that's where the, the dog pound started. and I. I know about some of the tradition and how they used to be down there and how they're hungry for a win too. So I thought that was a cool thing for me to just run down there and show some love. What do you like the most about Greg Williams' defense when it comes to using cornerbacks? Oh uh, man, you know, he keeps you in, in the game. You're always going to be in the game because sometimes in some systems you can play cornerback and just be out there for a numerous amount of series. but. Here with uh, Coach G Dub, you know, if you gotta, if you ain't covering somebody, if you're not, you're doing something all the time. Now in the preseason, Dwayne Walker met with us uh, to talk about the secondary as a whole, and the thing he mentioned about you was that he wanted to have not the the one play that you give away to their team to go along with the two plays you make for the team. How has that kind of uh, affected your psyche and uh, maybe not taking too many risks out there on the field? So if if you if you're more focused in a game and have a good idea like what's gonna happen that kind of eliminates some of those bad plays that I made younger in my career just you know it, the plays that I did make or whatever that I messed up on they were always things that I could have fixed so that's why it's so important for me right now to just be focused and just make better decisions. Well good luck on Sunday in Oakland and hoping to see more turnovers coming your way. Yes sir thank you.